Energy modeling can make buildings more energy efficient in a few different ways. Uh, the most obvious and important one is probably for energy modeling to be part of the design process so that it's iterative. The energy model doesn't just happen once after the design has been completed. The energy model is an uh, important tool in optimizing the design for energy efficiency and comfort. Most architects don't even know what questions to ask to know what I can do to improve that or how my design can help be part of the solution for a high performance building as opposed to be part of the potential problem. I think what it takes to get to scale is, is one thing, and it's quite simple, but it's not necessarily easy. That's to convince the architects and engineers who are designing buildings that the integrated design process is the way to get to low energy buildings. And the solution to the integrated design process is getting energy modeling involved in the pre-design, in the conceptual design phases, to make those early decisions about building form and materials, orientation, shape and shading. Once the practitioners fully understand that that's the way we get to low energy buildings, they will create the demand for the energy modeling. They will understand its importance, its value, and its role. This, this notion of prediction is where a big piece of that breakdown of communication happens. Models can predict things, but generally if they're used as part of a design process, they're not even trying to predict the actual energy use and it just doesn't work that way at that phase of a design process. We should own that as an industry and figure out better ways to explain what we can and cannot do for them. We talk about increased stringency of codes and, and high performance goals and that's not just a design problem and the fact that designers are taking on this high performance goal without considering tenants is, is it's far-fetched because as you make the building more and more efficient, more and more of the energy use is, is up to the tenants. It's been shown over and over again that education programs and feedback to the tenants can really substantially change building energy use, 10, 15, 20, 30 percent reduction. The models are always wrong because they're not accounting for changes in behavior. So I think it's, it's more communication to the downstream owners and tenants about their role in energy efficiency that's not being communicated by the modeling in industry. We need to become more like what I've been calling as a modern master builder, not where a traditional master builder where the architect was the one dictating what was going on, but a collaborative process where we need to understand more about what an engineer does, what an energy modeler does, and that we can speak the same language. And hopefully you'll see people working more closely together, all with a goal of reducing the actual energy consumed by those buildings, having high performance, comfortable, productive buildings.